Wherever you are, wherever you are watching us from, I just want you to open your mouth and thank God. Exalt the name of the Lord, magnify the name of the Lord. I praise him for who he is. Exalt his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. And let every bread, let everything that has bread, let everything that has bread, let everything that has bread, praise the Lord. Oh my soul, magnify the Lord. Oh my soul, praise his holy name. My soul, do not forget of his goodness. His sovereignty, his awesomeness, his power. It's powerful. the doing of you, God. And it's marvelous in our sight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God. Hallowed be your name. Lord of majesty, divine authority. Hallowed be your name. In the name of Jesus, we exhort you. We lift your name on high. We magnify your name. We praise you for who you are. Among the gods, who is like unto you. You are glorious in holiness and fearful in praise. And we know for sure that today and this morning you do your wonders up you do your marvelous you do your awesomeness up unto you be all the glory in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we reverence your holy name this morning. We acknowledge your presence this morning. We bless your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus, magnify your name. You've done us well. You've done us to the Lord. That's why, oh Lord, That's why, oh God, we worked our unqualified Lord. We worked out our warmest place unto your name, Lord. For you've been faithful. Changing God. For you've been awesome. You have provided our nation. You have provided our safety. You have changed us. We thank you, Lord. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You will never ever change. Habaka. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You will never. You will never ever change. Men may change, but you God remain the same. You are. This morning we just want to acknowledge the unchanging God's presence in our midst. The Bible says wherever two or three are gathered is in name, that his presence is. This morning, whether you believe it or not, the presence of God is here. <laughs> and we just want to acknowledge him. We just want to acknowledge his presence. We just want him to take the preeminent and dominion over everything that we are here for. Our praises, our worship, the word that is coming forth, our giving and the benediction. May he be the center of attraction in the name of Jesus. Even if you are watching us from home, on your, in your car, wherever that you are watching us from, we just want you to control and command the presence of God. And wherever that you are in the name of Jesus, 
Let's open our mouth and pray. Mate. Presekete kapash. Father, O God, when we come like this, and your presence, O Lord, is not in our midst, there is nothing that we can do. Father, O God, we just don't want to appreciate mere mortal men. We just don't want to come here and be doing things that will appreciate mere mortal men. We are not here to sing for men. We are not here to worship men. We are not here to give for men. But we are here to give you our glory. Father, we are here to worship you. We are here to reverence your holy name. Spirit of the living God. How we are well in the midst of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for your presence. Moses said, if your presence is not going with us, we are not moving an inch. Oh God, let your presence come. Come and dwell in the midst of your people. In our praises, oh God. In our worship, let us feel you. In the world that is coming forth, let us feel you. In the name of Jesus, that we will not depart from your presence. This morning I wanted us to pray a strategic prayers but for the sake of our time we will just raise one prayer up to topic or one praise up point and then probably Maybe next time we will continue. The Bible says, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of valley. I want you to pay particular attention. And he says it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And indeed, this is where I'm going to lie. And he says, and indeed, they were very dry. Ha. This morning, we just want to pray that any dryness in the church of God, any dryness in our life, any dryness in the family, as he commanded Ezekiel to prophesy and tell the dry bones to come back to life, we are going to confess and prophesy that every dryness in our lives may see come back to life. Every dryness born in our life May he come back to life and live In the name of Jesus Open your mouth and let's pray we pray against any dryness, any dryness, O Lord, any dryness in your church, any dryness in our lives, any dryness in our family, any dryness in every situation. May you, O Lord, may you, O Lord, cause life into existence in the name of Jesus. Every 
morning but there is a cause i don't know what made you move from your house from your apartment took your shower sit behind your steering wheel drive all this miles and came to the church of god there is a cause and so we are praying this morning that every cause that caused us to be here this morning may the lord intervene <laughs> may the lord intervene i don't know your cause my cause might be different from your cause but one prayer that we are praying this morning that oh lord intervene every cause oh. in the name of jesus, jesus. let's open our mouth and pray Whatever cause that drag us all out into your sanctuary, whatever cause that drag us all out into our various abode and brought us here, this morning we pray that let your will prevail, let your will be done, let your will prevail, let your will be done, let your will be done, let your will be done in your church, in the name of Jesus, let your will be done. There is a reason, Malakana Masataya, the Babalu and the Shakaramaya, the Mamma, 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 for him, he is the Lord. We pray for him. He has said it, and surely he will do. Hold on to your faith, Halapa. Your confessions of the days of your life, and you will see the hand of the Lord in your life. Oh, He has yes, said it, and surely he will do. Hold on to your faith, your, faith, your confesses all the days, days of your life, and, and you will see the hand of the Lord in your, your life. life. I want us to pray and commit today's gathering before the Lord, that right from the very onset of our opening praise to benediction, may He have His way. May he be the center of our service this morning. That whatever that we will do here will not be certain things that will please man, that, but will please God. One thing that we need to be cautious when we are treading on the treading ground is to do things that will please him and not man. When you do things that pleases God, you don't care who is around you. You don't care whether somebody is playing or not because you are not here to appreciate or so much but you are here to appreciate him. And so
so we are praying that may everything that we we'll do here appreciate God not any other man nor any other woman we are praying that may his will be done in our life we are praying that whatever word that we need to hear this morning is what he should bring forth no words that will pop us no words that will flatter us but words that will make us open our eyes wide and that's what we want to experience we are praying that may the Lord have an encounter with us this morning that will never depart from his presence just as we came in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray we are not here to all oh our please man but we are here to please you God we are here to appreciate you God we are here to render our services unto you not unto man and so we pray that may you be appreciative of what we are here for in the name of Jesus you alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone, make my speed red hill. Kabadaba. You alone are my For the opportunity given us for us to come boldly before your presence and cry Lord Abba Father Lord as we've gathered around oh Lord everywhere there are some of us that are watching us from home others are watching us from work others are watching us from everywhere and also we oh Lord those that are here this morning we pray oh God that as we've come may you connect your spirit to our spirit and may you speak unto us Lord as you always do your surgical oh lord god will touch pierce through us cut through us do your surgical works oh lord god until we are fully completed before we depart from your presence father oh god as we've come we pray for your touch for a touch of you can change our lives and set our souls on fire to do your will we pray for that touch in the name of jesus in our praises may you touch us in our worship may you touch us in the world that is coming forth touch your people through your word in the mighty name of jesus and before we depart from your presence we'll be solidified in your presence we thank you O god have your way in the midst of your people in jesus name amen somebody put your hands together for jesus
Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah somebody. Amen. Amen. Shall we humbly be on our feet? Amen. Amen. Oh, I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Almighty God for seeing us through this week. Amen. Amen. Many were the things that the enemy planned over us, but through it all, you and I are still alive to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So wherever you are, somebody put your hands together one more time and praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can even add a shout to it, I will humbly ask that you add a shout to it in the name of Jesus. You know, one, one minister said, if you don't feel comfortable praising God, or if you don't feel comfortable praising God in his house, then I don't know where else to praise God. And he also said, most of us want to go to heaven. But for us to get ready to go to heaven, we need to also know how to praise God. Because when you get to heaven, all what the angels are doing is praising, rejoicing, and magnifying the name of the Lord. So for one more time, somebody put your hands together and praise the name of the Lord. Because every praise belongs to our God. Amen. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one of
I'm in awesome wonder Concede it all Thy hands, thy words have made I see the stars And I hear the rolling thunder
morning we oh, say yeah. we will say Magnify the name of the Lord. Begin to exalt Him. Begin to thank Him. Begin to worship Him from the depths of your heart this morning. Every knee, every knee, every knee says that you are the I am that I am. There is none like Him. You reign glory in the highest. You reign. I bring some peace. I love We bow down before your throne, Lord. Magnify your holy name, O God. Hey, my you are God. Hello, yeah. hey, Saint of Day. Say 
there's none like you are. Father, this morning, no one else can touch a heart like you do. search for all eternity Among the cars, there is none like you. This morning, just think about the goodness of God, the mercies of God. Where would you and I be? It's not about what we have, it's not about what we have acquired, but it's by His grace, it's by His loving kindness. He continues to make a way where the sins to be in the way. There is none like you. Just hear the song. Among the gods, who is like you? She was glorious in holiness, fearful. like her unto thee Among the cars, among the cars. 
Father, this is our prayer this morning. Among the cars, who is a king? You are glorious. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Son, we thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, the Bible says, The Spirit speaketh express. Well, may God bless you. You do it all. You have made my job very easy. May God bless you. I thank God for making such a wonderful day. I thank Him for His presence. That our God would desire to abide in the presence of his people today too. He has prepared the day for us. My Lord, you are welcome. Father, you are welcome. Father, you are welcome. Come and inhabit our life. That we'll be going out from here. Sure, knowing that indeed we have come to your presence. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank the national head, the uh, regional head, the able leadership here, my pastor, who is also my former elder, that I love too much. May God bless you all. Uh, by your grace, today I'll be given the chance to stand in the presence of God's children. So, I know that God has something for us today. And I can see, I can see and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit here. So I know that I will not go empty-handed and you will not Go empty handed. Amen. The topic of my message today is this God that I have found, He is more than enough. This God that I have found, He is more than enough. This God that you have found, Oh, he's more than enough. This God that we has found, he is more than enough. Amen. Hallelujah. It's always nice that you are traveling or going somewhere and you find something on the floor. Oh, maybe it might be a penny. Uh, it's something. You have found it. But it cannot give you uh, it is not worthy for what you need um you may find a wristwatch there oh yes i found something that's a wristwatch it's nice i don't have a wristwatch so i got one but you wear it in few days uh, it is off you find something but it is not something which is uh, 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 it's not worthy of what you need. You may get something better. So the same thing in this world, 
There's a saying going on that there are gods. I, I don't care how you call it. You can call it Allah. You can call it Duye. You can call it uh, uh, Redumari, Ulua, Olong, or whatever. The name that you call it doesn't really mean anything. But what type of God that you have found? Amen? Because they're so called that uh, uh, God, somewhere. Uh, I have heard of God that tells his people that uh, uh, you should gather in a certain country, Guyana, somewhere, and drink poison and die, and you will come and meet your God. Is that God that you have found? What type of God that you have found? This God that I have found, oh, he's more than enough. The God that you have found, he's more than enough. God of Pentecost, oh, the Machios, the workers, painters, the work. I tell you, he's more than enough. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 16, verse 1 to 9. Psalm 16, verse 1 to 9. Tell people. Oh. Psalm 16, 1 to 9. Keep me safe, my God. Can you give me King James? I love the King James too much. I don't know why. Maybe the gray hair is coming too much. I stick to the old thing. Preserve me, oh God. For in you I put my trust. Let's go. Psalm 16, 1 to 9. Oh, my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my God. Goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth. And to the excellent in whom I am, but to the saints that are in, uh, in the earth, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Let's go. That sorrow shall be mortified, that hasten after another ghost. That their drink offering of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is my portion of my inheritance and of my cup uh, and of my cup. Thou maintain my lot. The lie are falling into me. In a present place, yeah, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who have given me a counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the right season. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. Amen. Amen. Then give me Psalm 14, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 14, verse 1 to 3. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heavens upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No. Not one. Amen. Amen. I saw that when you found the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, God of Jacob, 
God of Isaac, the God of Pentecost, my God, your God, he is more than enough. But if you find something different that has been painted like the God that they so called, then you have a, a problem. But if you don't know him at all, you have no connection with him. The Bible calls you a fool. Oh, if not divine uh, uh, intervention that the God himself called us, we all might be fools not knowing uh, 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 who God is. Why the Bible called them fools? Even, even I think the English language is not so uh, 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 rich like the Hebrew word or even our Akan or the Fanti or the Ashanti. Because here it said, uh, uh, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Fool means Kwasia in Akan language. But when you go to the Hebrew, it's different. When you go to the uh, Fanti, it's different. Even the Ashanti. In, it doesn't mean that you don't have the uh, 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 IQ or QI or how they call intelligence to reason. He has something, someone who has not God has something deeper than that. In Fanti, they call him Okotoboin. If you read the Fanti uh, Bible, say Okotoboin or Sidakumende, Nyami Bebiara. But when you go to the Ashanti, uh, uh, it's more uh, uh, dangerous even than the Fanti word. For, for the Ashanti, they call Ojejenchie Nosi Nyami Niho. He's more than a fool. So if someone has not uh, 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 known God, uh, if you see him, he has all the intellectuals, he can present whatever theory that he has. You, see, you, you just gave him the application word for that. He does, has not, no relationship with God. But you who have found him. In Psalm 16, David is just uh, 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 reciting what happened when they were sharing the land of uh, Israel. And the Levites, everybody gets some land. The Levites didn't get anything, but God said that they are his inheritance. They own sin. He owns them. They are, that is their portion. The same thing, my brother, you and I, that he has bought us with his blood. Our inheritance is God that we have. Hallelujah. No. The world is passing with its lost thereof. By you who have him, you have hope. Hallelujah. Because everything will not end here. Paul said that if everything is what we see, then we are more than what? But we have hope. We have inheritance. We have God that we, have, we can cry out, we can call out. And he responds. Some people carry their God, they put him there. If there is fire, he will burn. But we are God. He speaks, he touches. He controls seasons. He communicates to his people. Hallelujah. This God that I have found is more than enough. This God that you have found is more than enough. Now, you can find something you think it is good. Oh, it looks nice. If you doubt it, you can ask the young men who just have their lifetime partners. The first time you saw the woman, oh my, you call your, uh, your body, hey, <laughs> I tell you, I get one, hey, this woman. But when it gets to a certain state, you see something that you almost call your mother and say, Mama, the choice that I make didn't work out the way that I thought it would. Because he's a human being, he has a limitation. But my God has no limitation. My God transforms, he renews. Even when he calls you from the dust, he will change you and make you something different. I remember when I met my wife, my God, I would put food on the uh, uh, stove. That time I'm somewhere in Europe, and I'll be talking to her, talking to her. Before I see that the, the rice has burned, the soup, everything burned, and I have to go home hungry. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't care that I'm, because I think I've got everything, but when he got pregnant, he started vomiting. Oh my God, uh, what is this? I don't like what You see, he's a human being. But God, my God, oh, the very day that I met my God, the day that he called me from that state, 
and brought me up and cleansed me and put his spirit in me. Every day I could see another side of him. Hallelujah. This God that I have found, this God that you have found, oh, it's more than enough. Hallelujah. You can find something you think is better. People have found some buildings with rocks on it. They call it church organization. They are doing God's some, some buying cars for their church members. And that. Oh, no, they, they have found, some, found something. Let me tell you a story. In the 70s, there was a carpenter. I don't know where he learned his trade. Either Kumasi or Akra or somewhere in Ghana. He's one of the best, if not the whole world, Africa, West Africa, or even the whole Ghana. But he's from a village. We call it town those days, but when I come to Western world, then I know that I'm from a village. <laughs> he's from a place called Gumba Lumi. Dumi. The original word is Dumi. Dumi B. But the other Akan people and the Ghana people, they start called the, the front people, they name uh, uh, cities according to me. This is what they call it Gumba Lumi. It is not Lumi. But he's very good in making caskets. He will build a casket from that village, then transport it to the city. Beautiful ones, expensive ones. And in the 70s, too, uh, Japan has a car, a car, automobile, that they call a Dustin. It came originally as a pickup, and they built it as a passenger. So this guy, when he makes his ca casket, he will hire a uh, Dustin van, then they load the uh, casket on it, then you take it to the city. How they load it? They put three at the base, three on top, then they put two, then they put one on it, then they tie it. But the roads on Ghana at that time, the Gomua roads are the worst among it. So he will load this in, the car will be dangling in the road, then you take it to the city and go to sell it. One time he was going, they loaded nine, three, three, two, one. As they were going, the car is dangling, the car is dangling, then the top one begins to lose from the rope and it slip. But in that Gomu area too, they have a certain plant that it looks like sugar cane. Uh, our younger ones who were born here, maybe they don't know sugar cane, but if you come from that side, you know sugar cane. They leave everything. Looks like sugar cane. Tall, just like sugar cane. So when the coffee slipped, it fell, but the road is very narrow, so it fell on this sugar cane uh, uh, type uh, of leaf. So they didn't fall down. They didn't hear any sound. They drove and go. The, the coffin has fell. The casket has fell. Beautiful one. Expensive one. So a, a tomato farmer who is going to his farm early in the morning also, he came around and he saw something. What is this? They look at very beautiful coffee. They, they, that thing is heavy, so he, can't, he cannot uh, uh, get it his own. Then another guy who is a wine typer, he is going early morning. He saw him. Hey, yeah, I got something. Very expensive thing. They came. They look at it. This is good, beautiful casket. They took the casket. He said, hey, I just sold my wine a couple of days. Let me balance you, then I will take it. He paid the balance. He took the uh, casket. He has found something. Beautiful. He was happy. Even he don't want the guy to help you. Carry me. So he carried the, uh, 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 the casket alone. Go and hide it. Then go and tell his uh, uh, brothers, I found a casket. Come and help me. They took the casket home. The moment they get home, everybody in the family get mad. They started shouting, why do you bring a fundaka to the house? Are you coming to kill somebody or what? And lo and behold, he took the casket three weeks time, his uncle died. They said, no, we don't like this casket. We have to go, uh, go and buy that, another one. They go and buy another casket. They insulted the guy that with sorrow and uh, uh, depression, he also died. He found a casket, beautiful one, expensive one, but it does not serve what? The purpose the casket uh, 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 should serve. Even through that, he died early. Man, you can find anything, but if God is not in it, oh, is God in, is God, God in what you are doing? If he's not in it, brother, you have found nothing. You, you will live to regret one day. But when you find Jesus, oh, the God that I have found, he's the provider, he's the healer. Oh, yes, with him even the dry ones can live. 
This God that I have found is more than enough. Hallelujah. What have you found? What type of God that you know? If you are in this church, I tell you, you are in the right place to meet the right God. But you can come with diff different uh, uh, mindset. Maybe you just buy your suit or your, your, your wig or here. Uh, uh, I don't know what is the English assembly, so we don't like it. But in Chicago, oh, the women wear some lace, different colors, different shining stars, different caps. If that is the reason why you have it, so you are bringing it to the seed, you have a different mindset. But you, you come to meet the God of Israel, or the God of Isaac, the God of Machiav, the God that I know, the, the, the one that raised me, oh, from my dead bed when I was dying. Oh, I say, he's more than enough. He's more than enough. With him, even the dry bones can live. He changes time and season. He communicates. He controls. Oh, yes. The God that I have come to know, the God that I have found, is more than enough. Expensive coffin doesn't benefit the guy. A certain girls, they were traveling. Those years, then there's a church called Kwamin Council. They put a red band, something around them. And they were traveling. They saw a chain, a gold chain. He took it. This is a true story. He don't want their the friends to say, he hid it. Not knowing it's a demon. That thing turned to a snake and go under her. And she was taken to a farm hospital. This is a true story. And he died there. He found himself, but that didn't uh, uh, serve him right. It kills him. But if you find the true God, if you find the true God, you leave everything behind. Then you pursue him only. Let's go to uh, uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. Matthew chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. This God that I have found, this God that you have found, this God that we talk of, he is more than enough. Matthew chapter 1, verse 16 to uh, 20. No. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Mark chapter 1, rather. Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting their net, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their net and followed him. And when he has gone down a little further, hence he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were also on their ship and mending their nets. And straight away he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the high servant. And they went after him. Hallelujah. When you found this God that I am talking about, when you, you found this God that the early grand soldiers of this church work with, you will leave any earthly thing behind, but you pursue him. This story tells us that Jesus does it. He's going and first he saw uh, Peter and his brother Andrew. <clears throat> and he called them that he will make them fishers of men. You see what this God do <clears throat> when he gets to transform you? These guys are fishermen. They fish, they catch fish. But when he met them, he said, I will make you. This also tells me that so witness are not born. They were made by the Lord. Hallelujah. When you walk with him, he transforms you to how, uh, to the type of person that he will use you for his church. He called them. 
And when he called them, immediately, they left their fishing company. That time in Galilee, it's like if you have lived in Tema before in the 70s and 80s, you have an Ankwadi fisheries and uh, ocean fisheries, uh, Afku. They are like a fishing company. They are in their boat doing their job that fed the money. That's the fishing business. That, that is Mankwazi Fisheries or Afco Fisheries. I called them immediately. They left their boat and followed him. They left what it is important to them. They left what they have been doing before. Man, if you have seen him, you better leave what you have. You think it's better than you. Uh, better for you and follow him only. They left it and follow him. And there he transformed them to fishmen, but not fish anymore. Hallelujah. What about the sons of Zebedee? James and John. They are with their father, but they meet the God that I'm talking about. They did meet the master. He called them immediately. They learned their father, they left their job. They left the servants. What do you have that is important to you than the God that I'm talking about? He's the provider. He will transform you. He will change you. He will make you a type of person that people will look onto and say, oh, is, 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 is it true that, is he the guy that we know? Oh, this God that we have found. This God that I have found is more than enough. They left their fishing company and they ran after him. Peter, he told him, I will make you fishers of men. This tells me that if you are here to evangelize, to win souls, or you are not born with it, just follow the master and he will make you Fishers of men. You will face others who are also in darkness to come and see his marvelous light. That indeed there is God. Yes, who live in heaven, but his eyes is on his children. On earth. Hallelujah. This God that I have found. What is your problem? What is your problem that God can also? Oh, I have seen a guy who was in the jail. His own brother sold him. But the guy knew God. He, he was taken to pit. From the pit, they took him there. They sold him. He got to prison. But even, even the warders see that there is something in him. Oh, there's something wonderful about the man whose name is Jesus Christ. If you follow him, he will transform you. Even in the pit, he will be with you. He promised that I will be with you. I will never forsake you. I remember those days when I was young. My father would send me. My father was a retired teacher who, who became a farmer. Then, who will send you to go and buy kerosene or something? You have to work seven Mars. The man is not going with you. But what betrays you if you go and you lost something? Oh, that teacher will give you good things at your back. But Jesus said, I will be with you even to the end of the world. Hallelujah. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you alone. Look, when hardship comes, Jesus is there. When sorrow comes, Jesus is there. When sickness I tell you, you uh, no, you have to be in my shoe to know what I'm talking about. When I was seeing something like a giant lion and somebody tell him that he's uh, called, called Bobo, Bobo the lion, he looked like uh, this thing and he was coming to call me and say, no, you are a fake lion. I have lion with Judah. And immediately I said, I have Lion of, uh, Lion of Judah. His name is Jesus. I see the thing that I'm seeing in my vision that it is shrinking. This time, I was in coma. I don't know that I was in coma at a Texas Health Hospital. When you are with Jesus, even if you are in the toilet, call him. He will be with you. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Oh, you are in the court. Call him. Call him. He will be with you. Hallelujah. When doctor said that you are going to die, call him. He will be with you. Oh, yeah. God has his own way of doing things. But the Bible says all things work together for good to them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Let me get to the end of my message. Let's look at John chapter 4. 3 to 29. It's too long. Maybe I'll just paraphrase it. Okay, John chapter 4, we all know the story. You can read it, but I'll just uh, phrase it. Jesus and his disciples, they went out doing good. But that, the Bible says, it is needed for them to pass through Samaria. So they pass through Samaria. Always God know your needs, no matter how your problem. It is needed that he will pass there and rescue you from that horrible pit. He passed through Samaria. There's a lady there. This lady has a big problem. Her problem is that any woman that, any man that he lives with will deem sometime either it is her behavior or something the man will live in. Leave her. It has gone on. First man gone, second man gone, third man, fourth man. They all left this uh, uh, woman. Then, Jesus passed through Samaria on a part of place that Joseph gave to his son. That uh, Jacob gave to his son Joseph. That's a well. And this woman, because of his uh, behavior, he was just fetching the water. He go there at 12 o'clock. Nobody fetch water at 12 o'clock. He fetch in the morning or in the evening. But he went there. Because nobody will see him. But he met Jesus there. And when he met Jesus, Jesus told him, Say, go and bring your husband. We know the story. And she said, I don't have a husband. Jesus that said that even the one that you are living with right now is not your husband. The woman said, We worship in the mountain, but you say Jerusalem. Jesus told him that the time is coming, that the true worship must worship in spirit and in truth. I perceive you are the prophet. Immediately, he says that I am. Who you are talking with, I am. He left a water pot. The water that he need, that in case he has a new husband, he will be drinking. He left it there. And go and tell the people in the city, go and broadcast it. That, here come I meet a man. Is he not the Messiah? Brothers and sisters, children of God, he left the water pot. What is in your hand? That is drawing you out of uh, fellowship with the Lord. Draw closer to him. Even when you enter into sin, don't run from him. Draw closer to him. For Jesus is ready. He is there for you. That he will shape you, cleanse you, make you the, a type of person. That you will come to know that you will be telling people that indeed this God that I have made more than now. Brethren, I don't want you to be that you don't know him. You don't have knowledge him. Or, or they don't cheer, but I want you to have fellowship with him. But if you have fellowship with him already, I want you to draw close at him. Cling to him all the time. In your affairs, all your problems, your daily behavior, everything. Call on him because he is more than enough. This God that I have found is more than this God that I have found, oh, he's, he passed everything. He controls it. He communicates. And he cares. He will be with you in times of trouble. He will walk with you when you fall. He will lift you up. And his soul will be with you. May God help you. May God direct your ways. May God let you understand that he is more than enough. He is the owner of everything. He owns thousand cattle on the top. He is the provider. Helen is Jehovah Hap. Jehovah the Sikkim. Jehovah the Cat. Jehovah Gomba. He will give this God that I have found, that you have found. 
than we have found. It's more than enough. May God bless you. Amen. Let's stand up. Let's stand up and pray. Ask God that if there's anything blocking you that you have not known this God, let's pray that you enlighten you to know who God is. If you are totally in the world, that you are depending on the worldly things, your education, your riches, oh, uh, this, even if you need a connection, divine connection comes from God. Pray that He will channel you to the way that the Lord wants you to walk. That He will be proud of you. That this is my beloved son. Let's pray. Shake the patient of my Satan. Give me into the mama for this. Oh, Rabbi Satan, you are the Rabbi Satan. Father, you are more than enough. You are more than enough. Lord, you are more than enough in anything. Father, there is no God that I can compare you with. Indeed, you are the creator. You are the one that formed the sea. Oh, yes. But shake a rabba yandere ma kabro. Yetete rabba zandere ba yakaba. Rabba ba 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 ba. Shake it yende. Nebru yondo rabba basakata yandere ba. Yoko rabba yandere mama sandere yaba. Kabo roko soto ye, reba baba yanda rama masata, yukuro ba yanda rama babo, sheke te yende rima. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Father, every area of my life, just take absolute control. Oh, you are more than enough. My going out and my coming, that I will depend on knowing for sure that God, you are with me, as you promised. I want you to pray. If you are already working with him, Sometimes because of our fear of this world, oh, our, our love for him become uh, uh, cold. We grow cold in our love for him. Let's pray that the Lord will strengthen you that you're going out and coming in. Your daily life will exemplify a child of God. That people will know that indeed, oh, this man or this woman or this sister is a child of God. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that the Lord will strengthen our faith. That no matter how the hardship, no matter how the economy or whatever that goes on, God that we have is more than enough. Jesus. I want us to pray that God in this life, many times when we come to Him and we hear His word, oh yes, we go with joy that we are going to walk exactly what we hear. But when we get there, just like the sower, then things are fire of the world, choke the word in us that you will not bear fruit. Sometimes when we get there, oh, the hardship turns us away from the Lord. But we have a God that's more than enough. So I want to pray that no matter how the situation, no matter how the hardship, no matter how things go on, oh, you have a God who is more than enough. Pray, pray, pray. Lara <laughs> Bosca <laughs> 
Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Day is gone. Another day has come. Do something new. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new. Matthew 13, verse 44 and 45, tells us how the kingdom of God is. It says something, it's like, like something very expensive that a man found. When he found it, he sold everything that he, he has and go and buy this. Brethren, I'm telling you that let your connection with God, your connection with Jehovah God, or the one that created Oh, be the, the, the one of everything. Not our job that we do, not our education, but we'll be connected to him all the time. That we sell everything that we have, but we buy this land that has God. Because our God is more than enough. Let's thank him for the revelation that has given to us. Let's thank him for the revelation that has given to us. Oh, Father, we thank you, we bless you. We honor you for such a great God, that you have something new. Lord, yes. Only you. Something new. Something new. Oh, yes. There's no room new. for agreement. There's no room something for agreement. New. But it's only you. Jesus. Hey, my life. Oh, satire. 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 Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for such a revelation that you have given unto us, Lord, that you are more than here. You know, as from today, we will live our life as people that we have come to know that our God is more than enough in our life. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Can Amen. we all please be upstanding? Oh, we praise your name. We praise your name. To you, the Lord our God, on our knees we bow. To you, the Lord our God, on our knees we we praise your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We praise. Help us sing to God 
be the glory. To God be the glory, great things he has done, so love in the world that he gave us his son. Oh, yeah, there is love. presence of the Most High God, today as we assembled here, we want to do something that is very special, something that is dear to our God. Hallelujah. Bible tells us that when God created all things and he created man, he gave man the authority to give names. Hallelujah. There is a reason why we give names. And even Jesus Christ, who is God, when he came to be man on earth, he had a name. Hallelujah. And the scripture tells us in Luke chapter 2 that when the time was come, Jesus was taken into the temple and he was christened. He was named. Names are very important. That is an identity. It identifies who you are and who we are. Each one of us here bears a name. If I call a name out right now, not everybody will stand up. Maybe one or two people will stand up because they bear the same name. Hallelujah. And so this morning we are doing this because God has commissioned us to do so. And as parents, God has given the authority to them to name their children. Hallelujah. Even though children are a gift from God, they are a gift from God, but God has given that authority to give them names unto their parents. Hallelujah. And that is why what we are gathered here this morning to do. The parents have decided that this boy will be called Deron Nyamike Tof. Hallelujah. Can you project that for me? Deron. Deron. D-A-A-R-O-N. But it's pronounced Deron. Hallelujah. Deron Nyamike Tof. Deron, a great man, a gift from God. Hallelujah. Beloved, wherever you are, will you please rise up on your feet with us this morning? We want to pronounce blessings upon Daron. Lift up your voice this morning. There are blessings on your tongue, and so you proclaim that blessing upon this little boy this morning. That he will be a great man indeed, according to his name. That he is a gift of God and the purpose of God will be established in his life. The counsel of God concerning his life shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
everything that you desire for your own child may you bless the child this morning may you prophesy upon his life lift up your voice say good things into his life this morning a gift truly from God. A gift from God. Father, we receive this gift this morning, oh God, with great joy and with glory unto you, oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Because at the appointed time, oh God, you have made all things beautiful. We thank you for the life of Daron. We thank you, Lord, oh God, you, your counsel and your purposes concerning him shall come to pass. This morning, Father, we present Daron unto you, oh God. As we call him by this name, oh Lord, may he respond, oh God, when he's called. Daron, may your ears be opened unto the gift from where you have come. That the Lord who has given you unto us as a gift, Lord, when he calls, may you answer, may you hear, and may your ears be opened unto him. We pray that may the heavens of God be opened unto you, dear on this morning. May the angels of the heavens smile at you this morning. We pray that all the days of your life, may you desire to be with your maker drawing closer or nearer unto him each day of your life. We come against every plan of the enemy for your life in Jesus' name. We decree that no weapon of the enemy that is fashioned against you will stand nor prosper. And every tongue that stands against you in judgment we condemn this morning in Jesus' name. We pray that Lord, you daring you will be great indeed. You will be a great man among your peers. May your going out and your coming in be fruitful according to the counsel and according to the purpose of the almighty God. We come against every eye of evil, every thought of evil, every mindset of evil, every plan of evil, every imagination of evil. We cancel them all in Jesus' name. We build a hedge of fire around you this morning in the name of Jesus. May the light of the Lord guide and direct your path. May he lead you beside the still waters. May the God Almighty refresh your soul every morning and every night. May the God who has given you as a gift to your parents, to your family, and to this church family, may he keep you. May he sustain you. May he direct your path. May he lead you all the days of your life. And may he cause your eyes to be turned unto him. Your mind to be set and focused on him. May he cause his spirit to dwell in you. May you walk in his ways all the days of your life. To the glory of his name. Father, we want to thank you again for this gift. This lovely gift. We we'll receive it with thanksgiving. And we we'll present it unto you. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want the church to repeat the name. The name is Daron. Nyamike Toffee. Can you please pronounce that one time? Amen. So, church, an addition to the church family, I present unto you this morning, Daron Nyamike Toffee. God bless you. And that is the practice of the church. We want to establish this little boy as a member of this church. And so, whatever you have to present, when Jesus was born, the wise men presented gifts unto him. And so this morning, we want to crave your indulgence that you make a gift, you present a gift to Daron.
which will establish him and cause him to walk even in the Lord. Amen. Shall we have the offering bowls? Even as we shall we rise up, even as the choir gives us a song. Shall we please rise up as the choir gives us a song. Praise God. Can we all please be on our feet? Hallelujah. Great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaching to the sky. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. Let your glory be over the earth. Great is your love reaches to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Be exalted, Lord, above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. I say, Great is your love reaches to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Be exalted, Lord, above the heaven. Let your glory be over the Great is your love, great is your love, reaches to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Be as a Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. I say, great is your love, reaches to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaches to the sky. Be as a Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Great is your love, great is your love, reaching to the heaven. Your faithfulness reaching to the sky. Be as a Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Be exalted, be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Be exalted, be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Great is your love, great is your love. Reaches to the heaven, your faithfulness. Reaches to the sky. Be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Great is your love, great is your love. Reaches to the heaven, your faithfulness. Reaches to the sky. Be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Be exalted, be exalted Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Great is your love, great is your love. Reaches to the heaven, your faithfulness. Reaches to the sky. Be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Be exalted, be exalted, Lord above the heaven. Let your glory be over the earth. Amen.
Additional information announcements. Uh, finally, the day is coming. Next Sunday is when we appreciate our uh, past presiding elder. We have announced this to you. I'm sure you are well prepared for it. Come this Friday, we will gather 
It's our usual prayer service, but also it's part of the appreciation service for our presiding elder and his family. We want to encourage you, if you have any words of encouragement, if you have any words, uh, the impact that they had on your life, you want to share testimonies about what impact they had on your life during the time that they served the church. We, we're going to show, do all that on Fridays. We want to encourage the whole church populace. Those of you who have not been joining us in person, we want to encourage you that this Friday, please join us, even as we celebrate what the Lord used our former presiding elder to do in his church. I'm sure he has impacted everybody's life and have something to share so that others also can know what the Lord used him and his family to, to accomplish for his people. Hallelujah. Easter convention comes uh, very soon. It's from 14th of April to the 17th. We want to encourage the church populace that we are hosting our own Easter convention. So instead of the whole district, we, PRWC, is hosting its own Easter convention. So it's you, it's me, all of us together to be part of it. And also prepare yourself that that is the time that we actually raise funds for the nation. Every, during Easter convention, we raise funds for the nation so that we'll be able, the church at the national level can be able to do the things that they ought to do. This has nothing to do with our church. It's our own annual fundraising. So our own annual fundraising is scheduled for May, May 1st. But Easter convention, we also encourage you to prepare yourself and make an offering that is worthy of the Lord, what the Lord has been doing in your life. Hallelujah. Uh, in view of our uh, forthcoming fundraising, I want to encourage every one of us, if last year you did pledge for 2021, you did pledge uh, towards the fundraising and you still have not fulfilled all your pledges, I want to encourage you that there is still time for you to fulfill all those pledges before we have our fundraising for this year. So I encourage you, if you have any outstanding pledges, please do so. Amen. Shall we please be on our feet? I want to, well, before then, we want to invite those who are visiting us for the very first time. Please take your seat. If today is the very first time that you are worshiping with us, this is Pentecost International Worship Center. It's a family church. It's part of the Church of Pentecost USA Incorporated. We love to have you with us at all times. So wherever you are, will you please rise up on your feet if today is the very first time that you are worshiping with us. Please, can you rise up on your feet wherever you are? Please, if you wouldn't mind, can you please come forward so that we can see you better? Please, can you come forward, please? Come forward. Please, can you come forward? This can you face the congregation so that they can actually see you properly? And uh, we want you to introduce yourself to us so we know who you are. Uh, tell us where you're coming from. If there's any other information you want to give us, we'll be pleased to, do, uh, to take all that information. So go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And thank you very much for a warm welcome to us. We are from India. Last month we have landed here. We live near in uh, Vineyard Drive. So this is first time. We, we don't know <laughs> anybody. So we just uh, passed by and we thought that we can come to this church. And uh, we both uh, came here. We enjoyed a lot. Uh, worship is very nice and we are re really think that we are blessed today and we bless all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning church. Uh, my name is Chris. I've been in Arlington for the past seven or eight months. I've waited for uh, any of you to invite me here to, to worship but the invitation never came, so today I decided to invite myself. So, I'm here to visit. Amen. My name is Betty. I was actually here last week. I recently um, look, um, relocated from San Diego. 
You are all very much welcome. If you will see this gentleman here, please, uh, the gentleman to my left, there's a gentleman to my left. If you will see him right now, he will, he will take some information and we'll get back to you. Amen. I want to invite Dickness Amy, if she's here, Dickness Amy upon Bewa. And I also want to invite Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Christophe. I want Ms. Dickness Amy to do the honor to present Daron's gift to them. Daron's, it's Daron's gift. It's not for mommy and daddy. So please take note. I'll be checking on it. We now want to invite them to give any. Yes. Want to invite the toughest to say what? I will I more more years only. Damn. Maria Lewo Mowo Ye Lazo Auman Yazi Nya Maria Lewo Mowo Ye Lazo Amen. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are the, you are what, Lord, what the You are what the Lord. You are what the Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, oh, skill you mon the queue. Balu full in the Skill ye more the cue, but full in you. Come on, say, You are, you are what the Lord, you are what the Lord, you are wonderful, you are what the Lord, you are what the Lord. Amen. I use this opportunity to do a simple presentation with my family. My husband, if you want to join me. The word of God says, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. And therefore, we have a presentation of Bible for my godson and also money to open accounts for him and a prayer book. And it's my prayer that you teach him with me and with God that he will be a fearful person and a blessed one. Among all his peers, he will be great. He will be giant. He will be blessed. And so I thank God and I thank Christ 
and also Eunice for seeing us worthy to even give us such a son. I'm blessed, and so I say thank you, and God bless you. Church, we are, I and my family, we are very, very grateful for the amazing love that you have shown us. We cannot appreciate it enough. May God richly bless you all. We thank our Lord thy God for such a wonderful gift that he has given to our family. We appreciate this great work that he has done for us. We thank the church, the presbytery, our district pastor, for giving us such a day. May God bless you. And I thank my beautiful wife. On that very hour that you were going to the labor room, and I saw the pains, and I asked myself, Lord, is this Adam's sin or Tophet's sin? A question that I couldn't answer, but glory be unto the Lord. Amen. I thank my in-law, Antiagi, for the wonderful support that you have given us. We appreciate you. I thank his dignity, Dr. Ernestina and husband, for being such a wonderful family to us. May God bless you all. Hey, thank family and friends who have traveled far and near for being with us. We appreciate you. May God bless you all. Amen. So please rise. Shall we please be on our feet? Why don't you pray and commit yourself into the hands of God? That as we go through this new week, the Lord will carry you. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will sustain you. The God of all sufficiency. The God that you have found will be everything to you. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for a time in your presence. We want to thank you for your word to us, O oh God. Because you are the God of all sufficiency. Indeed, the God that we have found, He is our healer, He is our deliverer, He is our helper, He is our sustainer, He is the keeper of our soul, He is our soon coming King. We pray that these things we have known about you will be made evident in our life this day and forevermore. And now may the El Elyon, the Most High, bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he extend the light of his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Thank you so much for tuning in to our live stream. I hope you're touched and blessed by the word you received today. Please make sure to like, comment, and share with families and friends at home. Also, if you have any prayer requests or any concerns towards our live stream, you can send us an email below and we'll be more than welcome to respond to you in a new time. Thank you so much and God bless you all.